a little disappointed that I need to get this done tonight. Uh, but I don't, I'm not going to have the time. I've got basically 12, 13 minutes to get this Bible study done. They usually take three to five minutes, six minutes, but this one's so intricate because of, so I'm going to, uh, go through it as I have on previous and just kind of run through it quicker. Not the Corinthians, but the Daniel part. It's the abomination of desolation where Jesus said, spoken of by Daniel the prophet, standing in the holy place. Yet preaching the good news, let's do Corinthians first though, Corinthians 9, yet preaching the good news is not something I can boast about. And of course he doesn't say boast. There's no pride, no boasting. For though I preach the gospel, I have nothing to glorify of, for the necessity is laid upon me. In other words, it's not about him, it's about the Lord laying upon him the truth. Yea, woe is unto me if I preach not the gospel. So, I think y'all understand what, how terrible it will be for me if I didn't preach the good news. If I were doing this on my own initiative, I would deserve payment. But I have no choice, for God has given me this sacred trust that's why you don't go around and then use it to make money what then is my pay it is the opportunity to preach good news without charging anyone that's why i never demand my rights when i preach the good news even though i am a free man with no master i have become a slave to all people to bring many to christ when i was with the jews i lived like a jew to bring the Jews to Christ. When I was with those who follow the Jewish, okay, I think we know. So we're at verse, let's get to verse 20. And unto the Jews I became as a Jew, that I might gain the Jews. You know, circumcision, maybe a water baptism here or there, even though, of course, that's not how it's done today. To them that are under the law, as under the law, that I might gain them that are under the law of, you know, following the law of Moses. Freedom in Christ Jesus means you're no longer bound to the law of Moses as far as keeping those rituals. The rituals like washing of the, you know, any, you know, can't eat pork, any of that stuff. You're not bound by that anymore. To them that are without the law, as without law, being not without law to God, but under the law of Christ, that I might gain them that are without law to the weak. Uh, I became weak that I might gain the weak. I am made all things to all men that I might by all means save some. Does he save them? No. What he's saying is God, God transforms me to be whatever I need to do to um, be used by God to call his elect. God does it all. And this I do for the gospel's sake, that I might be a partaker thereof with you. Know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receiveth the prize. So run that ye may obtain. Good stuff. Good stuff. Let's bounce that. Let's go to Daniel. And he shall speak great words against the Most High. And shall wear out the saints of the Most High. This is the Antichrist. And to think to change the times and the laws. And they shall be given into his hand until the time and times and the dividing of time. But the judgment shall sit. And remember, Jesus says he must cut those days short. So all these time frames given, three and a half years or time, time, half divide, Jesus cuts those days short. He says that, or else no flesh would be saved. But the judgment shall sit. This is God winning again. And they shall take away his dominion, the Antichrist, to consume and to destroy it until the end. And the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the Most High, whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and all dominions shall serve and obey him. Oh, this was, um, this isn't the one I was thinking of. Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't have to, this isn't the long one. That's, that's Daniel 9. 
I got confused today, just glancing at the page because I'd marked in it in the Bible with an ink pen, and I thought it was that section. My bad. Hitherto is the, because we know it's Daniel 9.27. <laughs> it's the abomination, not seven. Get my seven and nines mixed up, as they do, right? Because September, the ninth month, no. September meant seven. October, octagon, octopus meant eight. November, nine. Deca, decade, decameter, decimeter, 10. December, 10. So it's funny that I got my seven and nine mixed up. Hitherto is the end of the matter. As for me, Daniel, my cog, my cognitive, cognitions, cognitations, much troubled me and my confidence changed in me, but I kept the matter in my heart. In other words, he was greatly troubled at all this end time stuff that had come into his heart and his visions. In the third year of the reign of King Belshazzar, a vision appeared unto me, even unto me, Daniel, after that which appeared unto me at the first and i saw in the vision and it came to pass when i saw that i was at shushan in the palace which is in the province of elam and i saw in the vision and i was by the river uli i love you very much ask questions anytime that's what i'm here for